Hello from Tokyo, I'm Miwa Gardner. Being an expectant mother in a foreign country may seem overwhelming at first, especially if you don't read or speak the language. Fortunately, there are others who have tread that path before you and are very happy to share their knowledge. One such mother is Anna Kuneki. There are some amazing resources in Tokyo for pregnant women. One is the Tokyo Pregnancy Group. This is just a very informal gathering of pregnant women, uh, foreigners. They meet every couple weeks. Meetings are in English. Another great resource are the childbirth educators that are here in Tokyo. Um, some that come to mind right away are Ann Tanaka, Selena Gudino, Brett Imura. All of their contact information is at the Tokyo Pregnancy Group blog. Um, and these are women who have helped many, many women through all different kinds of birth experiences in Japan. There are a few fundamental differences in the way things are done here. In other countries, there is more emphasis placed on early prenatal care. But in Japan, some doctors may bypass giving advice on this stage of your pregnancy and just hand you a confirmation slip that can be exchanged for the maternal and child health handbook available at your local ward office. This is the bilingual version, and I highly recommend that you get it because it lists everything in English and Japanese. The handbook is called Boshi Kenko Techo in Japanese and is used to document all appointments, measurements, vaccines, etc. in one place. It also includes vouchers for several free checkups and tests. Bilingual versions in English, Chinese, Spanish and five other languages can be purchased at select wards or online for about 800 yen. Japan has one of the lowest infant mortality rates in the world, according to the CIA World Factbook. At 2.8 deaths per 1,000 live births, this rate is just a fraction higher than the two lowest countries, Singapore and Sweden. But in spite of what this data may suggest, many mothers express dissatisfaction at doctors and healthcare practitioners who commonly disclose only limited information regarding the state of their own pregnancies. Because it is not unusual for doctors to make judgments on the patient's behalf regarding what information they should or should not know, mothers-to-be must be aggressive and upfront that they want to be 100% informed. Another complaint among pregnant women is that many people won't give up their seats for them on crowded trains. The Ministry of Health, Labor and Welfare is trying to combat this by providing expectant mothers with special keychains that show a drawing of a child and a mother. Known as a maternity mark, the keychain can be attached to a woman's bag, supposedly to encourage seated passengers to give up their spot. However, you may sometimes have to wave it around a little bit before you get a response. These keychains can be picked up for free from the station master's office and information offices at Tokyo Metro stations. Foreign women also find it hard to find larger maternity wear here. Unfortunately, the general consensus is that it's best to buy clothes from overseas. Online Ruby Fay is one company that offers a hip selection of maternity wear from New York for stylish moms to be. Domestically, the local mail order company Angel Liebe carries slightly larger sizes than what you're likely to find at regular Japanese stores. But if you must try before you buy, hit Benetton in Omotesando, as they tend to have larger maternity wear than others. One big perk of giving birth in Japan is that you're entitled to a lump sum birth allowance. If you are enrolled in national health insurance, you can get paid between 300 to 350,000 yen per child, depending on the ward you live in. You're entitled to this amount even if you miscarry after three to four months into your pregnancy. I know a lot of women feel afraid that they're pregnant in a strange country and they worry that um, they or their baby won't be safe, but really there is wonderful care available here. However, it will probably take more effort and time and research to find it. In our next episode, we'll follow up with an in-depth look about giving birth in Japan. If you live in Tokyo, take a look at our beauty and health pages on spinshell.tv for hospitals and other medical services in your area. Until next time, thanks for watching. Bye.